Hi, my name is Brian, and uh, today I'm going to do a video review of a DeWalt uh, cordless screw gun. So, um, this is the DeWalt cordless screw gun. Model number is DCF620. It uses the Max XR series of uh, components, including the long lasting small battery. I, I, I get, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of um, three hours on, the, on this battery at least. Um, I'm driving one and a quarter inch screws, and I have the DCF6201 um, collated screw attachment on here. So you buy these as two different things. First, there's a the screw gun. Um, you know, like all the DeWalt Max XR products, it's a really good screw gun. Um, it does have some faults. The thing that is um, absolutely asinine about this product is this little tiny switch right here, and I'm going to bring it up where you can hopefully see it. Let me force the camera to focus here. Okay, so it's very, very easy to flip the switch the wrong way when you are um, using the product. So this is a fail. DeWalt, I hope you watch this. This is a really, really bad place to put a switch, and this switch is really easy to accidentally hit. Uh, beyond that, this is a pretty damn good product. There we go, get my follow focus working. So you buy this as two products. This is about... 100 bucks. This is about 80 bucks. Um, bought it on Amazon. Um, it uses a non standard bit. Um, you get the bit out by pushing in on it and then pulling it out. And what's special about this is it's, it's just got a narrow shank. So it's a three millimeter shank instead of an industry standard five millimeter shank. Um, there is a place called Tool Barn um, that I did not have a good experience with. I paid for priority mail and they shipped it UPS Mail Innovations and didn't think anything wrong, was wrong with it. Fortunately, they have pretty good customer service. They were able to cancel my order. Um, I was able to purchase a five pack of these for the same price from CPO Outlets out of uh, Georgia in the United States. It's about $18, um, arrived in just a couple of days. Always a great supplier. Good shout out to CPO products. So that's where to get the replacement bits. So the, the other bit of bad news is um, DeWalt, um, you know, I'm just going to say, DeWalt had their head up their ass. They only make this in a number two Phillips bit. Um, so if you need to do square drive screws for floors or decks, you really should buy the corded rigid one. Um, so other than that, this is a pretty darn good tool. Um, it snaps in like this, and you just push those and boom, it snaps in. It will operate at an angle, so you can turn this to whatever you need it to. It has, uh, having some issues with my focus here, it has an adjustment for screw depth. So you can just simply turn this and it moves this little indicator here, which sets the depth of the screw. Um, feeding's pretty easy. You just simply, and I'm gonna see if I can do this up close. You simply slide it in here, and then you, um, there's a little track here that you slide it in. And in this case, I'm, I'm refeeding, so I'm gonna pull it up until it is at a 45 degree angle. And now each time that I push the uh, mechanism in, it's going to feed a screw in there, the bit is going to intercept it and it's going to drive a screw and it will automatically set it to the right depth. Uh, I apologize guys, I'm having a heck of a time sw switching between autofocus and manual focus here. I think the camera's mad at me. So, um, you know, it did not work well with two, two and a quarter or two and a half inch screws. I had some floorboards to re-screw and one of the problems I had is it, it, this is too tight of a radius for long screws and so they bind. 
Um, they were drywall screws. They were like number six or number seven, um, nothing magical. So, um, you know, this is not a perfect tool, but it beats the hell out of doing it by hand and it's great not to drag a, a cord around. Well worth $179 to me. I I'm running six and a half thousand square feet of sheetrock in this house. Um, so, you know, six and a half thousand square feet of sheetrock, it's just me and one friend um, and uh, he's not here today. So, you know, um, it just kind of is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set some uh, sheetrock here for uh, my aquarium surround. Um, I've got my aquarium right here. Uh, first things first, I'm going to I'm going to use the uh, clip here to hang the gun, and um, I'm just going to put a small piece of sheetrock in. And you know, I'm doing this by myself, so it makes it a little harder to do. I'm actually going to back the camera up so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so I've got the camera backed up. I've got the board in my hand and I'm gonna set cove corners and that'll actually be my next video. So, and I've got to flip that stupid little lever because it's always in the wrong spot, but here we go. Every once in a while, you'll get a misfeed like that. I'm just gonna start with a new strip of screws. So, you know, the little bit of inconveniences that go with this thing, it, this is way faster than doing this by hand. So uh, I just put in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 23 screws in under a minute. Um, so despite the irritations and uh, what I consider failures in design for, you know, it's just not the quality I expect from DeWalt. Um, this thing still kicks butt even as a bad DeWalt tool. Um, it is adjustable. Um, this nose piece here has some buttons on it. You can actually remove the whole nose piece or you can push the little yellow lever and then you can adjust this to set the depth. Um, I've got it set to inch and a quarter screws. That's what I'm, that's what I'm putting in um, and it works great for that. So I appreciate you watching uh, my video review and I hope that you find this helpful. Um, I do recommend purchasing this even though it is, it does have some shortcomings. It's still a huge time saver and um, being cordless is frankly priceless. Um, thanks so much and I hope you enjoy my video.